फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ स्पीयर थ्रू दि सर्कल एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर प्लस जेड स्क्वेर इक्वल टू फोर कॉमा जेड इक्वल टू फोर एंड कटिंग दि स्पीयर एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर प्लस जेड स्क्वेर प्लस टेन वाई माइनस फोर जेड माइनस एट इक्वल टू जीरो ऑर्थोगोनल सो वॉट इज ऑर्थोगोनल स्पीयर एज वी नो द ऑर्थोगोनल स्पीयर मीन्स कंडीशन ऑफ ऑर्थोगोनल स्पीयर इज अ टू यू वन यू टू प्लस टू वी वन वी टू प्लस टू डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू इक्वल टू डी वन प्लस डी टू वट इज दिस यू वन सो नोट दैट हियर द कोशियंट फाइंड देर यू वन वी वन डब्ल्यू वन हियर यू टू वी टू डब्ल्यू टू एंड हियर डी वन एंड डी टू फाइंड दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ स्पीयर तो हाउ लेट सी नाउ हियर गी वन इक्वेशन ऑफ स्पीयर पासिंग थ्रू दि सर्कल विच सर्कल यस सी देर दिस वन एंड दिस एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर प्लस जेड स्क्वेर माइनस फोर एंड प्लेन योर इक्वल टू जीरो एंड प्लेन इज जेड माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो एंड देर फोर दैट स्पीयर आई विल डिनोट बाई एस वन अवर विच इज अवर फर्स्ट स्पीयर इट इज अस प्लस लामडा यू इक्वल टू जीरो सो वट इज दिस यस वन इट इज अक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर प्लस जेड स्क्वेर माइनस फोर प्लस लामडा यू जेड माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो and therefore i am getting s1 equal to our first sphere is x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda z plus minus 4 minus 4 lambda equal to 0 this is our first sphere so definitely i can find u1 so what is u1 here note that our general equation of sphere is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 ux plus 2 vy plus 2 wz plus d equal to 0 So how to find u? Coefficient of x divided by two. So I am getting u. So here u one is zero, v one is zero, and coefficient of z present there divided by two means w one equal to lambda by two. What about the constant that I will denote by d one? It is a minus four minus four lambda. And second, so this pair is there. This is our s one, and second pair is this one. So s two equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Plus 10y minus 4z minus 8 equal to zero. So I'm getting here u2 equal to coefficient of x divided by 2 v2 coefficient of y divided by 2 w2 coefficient of z divided by 2 and d2 constant. So what is the condition of orthogonality? So here this pair cut to this pair orthogonally. So we know two pairs s1 Yes, two are orthogonal or cut to each other at orthogonally. If two u one u two plus two v one v two plus two w one w two equal to d one plus d two, so I am getting two u one is zero, u two is zero plus two v one is zero, v two is five plus two w one is lambda by two, w two is minus two. Equal to d1 is minus 4 minus 4 lambda and d2 is minus 8. So find the value of lambda. Put here which is your required sphere. Minus 2 lambda equal to minus 4 lambda minus 12. So 2 lambda equal to minus 12. This implies that lambda equal to minus 6. And therefore a required sphere or required equation of sphere. Or you can write here put this value of lambda equal to minus 6 in equation one. So what I am getting? It is a x square plus y square plus z square minus six lambda, and here plus twenty equal to zero, which is your required answer. Example: Determine the center and radius of this circle. X square plus y square plus z square plus two x minus two y minus four z minus nineteen equal to zero, comma x plus two y plus two z plus seven equal to zero. Also find the orthogonal projection of the area of the circle in x o y plane. So here it is a circle means it is a combination of sphere and plane. So this is a circle cut by one plane. So I am getting one circle and we want to find center and radius of this circle. Draw the perpendicular from the center of the sphere or join this center of the sphere and circle. So center of the sphere always denote by C. Here it is a point P, so join CP also. So C C one, C one is the center of that circle. C one P or P C one, it is the radius of that circle. CP is the radius of the sphere. 
So what is given here? Equation of this pair. It is the x square plus y square plus z square plus 2x minus 2y minus 4z minus 19 equal to 0. And plane is given here x plus 2y plus 2z plus 7 equal to 0. So definitely here center of this pair is coefficient of x, y, z divided by minus 2. So I am getting minus 1, 1, 2. What about the radius of this pair? It is equal to under root of square of this plus square of this plus square of this minus constant. So I am getting 1 plus 1 plus 4 minus constant term. It is a minus 90. So I am getting radius of this pair is under root of 25 means 5. So here CP is 5 now. Center C, it is a minus 1, 1, 2. Radius is a 5. Now our interest is to find C1. So equation of C, C1 passing through point C, minus 1, 1, 2 and having direction ratios. These are the coefficient 1, 2 and 2 is x minus of minus 1 means plus 1 by 1. Y minus 1 by 2 equal to Z minus 2 by 2 and that is K. So I can find C1 in the form of K as a K minus 1, 2K plus 1 and 2K plus 2. So definitely this C1 satisfies equation of plane. So C1 satisfies equation of plane. X plus 2Y plus 2Z plus 7 equal to 0. So that is why X, X means K minus 1 plus 2y means 2k plus 1 plus 2z means 2k plus 2 plus 7 equal to 0. Simplified, so I am getting k minus 1 plus 4k plus 2 plus 4k plus 4 plus 7 equal to 0. So I am getting 9k plus 12 equal to 0. Therefore, k equal to minus 12 by 9 and this implies k equal to minus 4 by 3. Therefore, c1 is or center of the circle. So, you put this value here. So, what I am getting? K minus 1 minus 7 by 3 to K plus 1 minus 5 by 3 to K plus 2 minus 2 by 3. And what about the radius C1P? You consider this right angle triangle PCC1. So, in right angle triangle by Pythagoras theorem, I am getting PC or CP whole square equal to PC1 whole square plus CC1 whole square. So, what is this PC or CP? It is a radius. So, 5 square plus PC1 that we want to find and CC1. I will use here the distance formula. Since it is a square, so under root get cancelled and I am getting minus 1 plus 7 by 3 whole square plus 1 minus minus plus 5 by 3 whole square plus 2 minus minus plus 2 by 3 whole square. Simplify this and we can find value of PC1, 25 equal to PC1 whole square. So by calculator, you can find this one. It is a 4 by 3 whole square plus 8 by 3 whole square plus 8 by 3 whole square. So 25 equal to PC1 whole square plus, so I am getting it is a 16. So this implies that PC1 whole square equal to 25 minus 16 and that is a 9. And therefore, PC1 equal to 3. So, this value now we have 3. So, what is the center and radius? So, center of the circle is C1 and radius of the circle that is PC1 equal to 3, which we want to find. Now, additional thing is there. Find the orthogonal projection of the area of the circle in XOY plane. Now, the next part is what? Orthogonal projection. As we know already, that is the orthogonal projection of an area equal to area into cos theta. So, what is this theta? Is the angle between plane of area and the plane on which projection is taken. And therefore, I can write here orthogonal projection equal to area into cos theta. So, what is the area? Area of it is a pi r square because here we want to find orthogonal projection of area of circle. So, it is a pi r square into cos theta. What is the radius of this circle? which we know it is a 3. So, I am getting pi r is 3, 3 square into cos theta and that is why it is 9 pi into cos theta. So, what is this cos theta? It is the angle between plane of area and plane of projection. So, here plane of area or that circle which is that plane 
here it is a plane when this plane cut to that sphere so we'll get that circle so what is that plane x plus 2 y plus 2 z plus 7 equal to 0 and second where we have to take this projection in x o y plane so what is that equation of x y plane it is a z equal to 0 note that here coordinate planes that is the x y plane x z plane or maybe the y z plane so what is the equation of this it is a z equal to 0 here it is a y equal to 0 here it is a x equal to 0 and therefore cos theta is what angle between these two plane we know that is the cos theta is nothing but this one so you remember this theory part and therefore i am getting cos theta equal to so coefficient of x it is a 1 into here 0 plus 2 into 0 plus z coefficient it is a 2 into 1 divides under root of the first plane x y z coefficient it is a 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square and second plane x y z coefficient square it is a 0 plus 0 plus 1 square simplify this so what i am getting it is a 2 upon under root of 9 means 3 so cos theta so what is the required answer 9 pi cos theta so cos theta is 2 by 3 so orthogonal projection of an area equal to 9 pi into cos theta cos theta is 2 by 3 means it is a 6 pi which is your required answer now next example find the equation of this pair passing through the circle x square plus y square plus z square equal to 9 comma 2x plus 3y plus 4z equal to 5 and the point 1 2 3 note that in three dimensional geometry circle is nothing but a combination of sphere and plane if we cut one sphere by the plane then we will get one circle it is not necessary only the sphere you may cut the right circular cone or cylinder by the plane but here the 90 degree condition so we'll get a circle so that is why always equation of the circle you will find the combination of one sphere and plane so here find the equation of sphere passing through this circle so definitely we can write that circle is s plus lambda u equal to 0 it is your required sphere so required sphere passing through the circle x square that i will denote by s x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 equal to 0 and u means plane is a 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5 equal to 0 is s plus lambda u equal to 0 so what is s it is a x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 plus lambda what is u it is a 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5 equal to 0 so I am getting one sphere in the form of lambda x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 lambda x plus 3 lambda y plus 4 lambda z and constant term is minus 9 minus 5 lambda equal to 0. So this sphere passing through this point. So this point must satisfy this equation. So we will get the value of lambda substitute here and finish. Nothing there. This sphere passing through the point which point 1 2 3 and therefore this point satisfies equation of this sphere so therefore it is x square means 1 square plus y square plus z square plus 2 lambda x plus 3 lambda y plus 4 lambda z plus minus 9 minus 5 lambda equal to 0 so find the value of lambda so i am getting 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 2 lambda plus 6 lambda plus 12 lambda minus 9 minus 5 lambda equal to 0. So it gives 15 lambda plus 5. So this implies that lambda equal to 5 by 15 and this implies that lambda equal to 1 by 3. So substitute this value of lambda here. You will get the required answer. The equation of sphere is or required sphere is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 lambda x means 2 by 3 x plus 3 lambda y means y plus 4 lambda z means 4 by 3 z plus minus 9 minus 5 into lambda means 1 by 3 so minus 32 by 3 equal to 0 which is your required equation of this pair.
वन में मल्टीप्लाई थ्रो आउट बाई थ्री बट नॉट नेसेसरी सो थ्री इन बैकेट एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस जेड स्क्वेयर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस फोर जेड माइनस थर्टी टू इक्वल टू जीरो सो नोट दिस थिंग 